Patch 12.12 is going to be one of the biggest patches in Escape from Tarkov's history, and we finally got our hands on the trailer officially from Battlestate Games. So I figured what I'd do is make like a reaction slash breakdown video. If you've already seen it, I'm sure you'll enjoy watching it again, and I'll kind of react to it, and then we'll go back and talk through everything we see and see if we can find some hidden things in the trailer. So with all that out of the way, let's go ahead and dive right in. Okay. Come on, come on. What? That looks huge. Oh my God. Another helicopter reserve vibes. So this is probably what's not open yet. Oh my God. It looks huge. Come on. I love how new it looks. Everything looks so new. This looks brand new. This isn't like Shoreline Plus. This looks new. Some loose loot. Oh, is that the shot? Yes. Yes. Oh my God. New scope. Okay. Shut up, a range finder. No, 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 no. Oh my God. A freaking range finder. We get a date, we get a date. Oh, there's more. Double barrel? Is that a new grenade? Was that like a stun grenade? That was another new grenade. Oh my God. Overheating, the overheating glow. Another new optic? Oh, hell yeah. Come on. What's that grenade blew up immediately. Oh my God. There was so much. There was so much in there. What is this? Just a shot. Oh my God. Oh my God. No date. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Yo, can we watch that again? Okay. All right, so we're gonna watch that again. Dude, so much stuff. It looks like they rework optics. There were definitely new grenades in there. <laughs> um, the rangefinder, let's go. Lighthouse looks incredible. Uh, I'm gonna turn the volume down a little bit on it and we'll, we'll just watch it again. We'll kind of go through and see what we can spot. So the location is crazy. I mean, look at this. This looks like like <laughs> like a wood sunken village vibe. You get like, this is crazy. Like, I don't know how much this is explorable, but this is like a complete industrial vibe. Big old buildings. They said this map was big. Not the biggest, but bigger. We got like recreational areas. We weren't sure. They showed off a lot of this, like the log cabin style overlooking big hills. 
uh I, I was really wondering if it was going to be more of an outdoorsy map there seems to be industrial there seems to be outdoorsy recreational this is what they teased that looks like it's got multiple levels helicopter oh my gosh <laughs> so I'm, I'm assuming that this is going to be they said that we're going to get lighthouse in multiple stages and that the lighthouse specifically is not yet accessible they also said this is where the boss is going to be and the trader is going to be um and in some of the in some of the talks that Nikita has had, they talked about you needing to present like a card, almost like a, another iteration of like a Terra Group Labs card, something in order for the boss to stand down from you and um, for you to be able to gain access to that trader. So I'm assuming that this is it. I'm assuming the current map we're going to get is going to stop right here. And at the next iteration, there's going to be either a swipe card or a person on the other end of this fence. I'm obviously just, you know, speculating here where you hand that token into and that grants you access to run down here because there's no way you're just going to push down here with a sniper up there. You're going to die. So uh, th this makes sense. And that's a really cool vibe right there. The whole island uh, and then having to get off it potentially with that stuff. Okay, so new, this is obviously the scar, new, they, not only did, are there new optics, but it feels like they reworked some of the older optics as well. So that was a new optic, uh, looks like new clothes, new uh, gloves right here. Love the like wildernessy internal vibe here. Stock AKs, PK06. I think we have that already. I mean, just like, look at like what they're overlooking here. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, dude, the verticality seems really cool. Um, and I'm really interested to see what like maybe potentially long range fights look like. Their map design is insane. The fact that there's so much internal close quarters and long range and mid range is so sick. Revolver shotgun, that's going to be super exciting. They also show the double barrel off. That looks like a new optic maybe on a P90. I love this whole shot of it just them like gearing up. I don't know if there's going to be like advanced stashes where there's like tons of guns and attachments in certain areas. They've been working on dynamic loot. This kind of gives me the vibe that there's like tons of guns and attachments that they're finding here uh, and that that kind of makes sense if they're, you know, if all these tents were set up and people were here that they put um, their guns all in one place. That would be kind of cool. dude like that almost looks like woods like like where is this where is this when you see those the huge industrial park and everything and then you see this like they, they make the map look generous of course it's not going to be like the biggest map we've ever ever seen most likely but they make it look like there's a lot of varying um terrain which is kind of cool <laughs> that oh that's the uh this is the vortex the the new optic that they showed off, it looks huge. And then an additional red dot on top, the an aim point on top. So this is a new aim point. Uh, this looks like it's on the scar. This is very interesting. Uh, I yeah, I like that. I like that reticle a lot. I wonder if it's a variable zoom. This optic. I like that reticle a lot. So more mounted machine guns. Like. Is that the the is that the little like resort thing up there or is that just kind of like stuff in the distance? I don't know. But these fights look amazing. Okay, so this is that this is that industrial thing that we were looking at earlier. Okay, so you come up here. I wonder where the lighthouse and that island is in relation to this. This looks like an explorable building, maybe this down here, maybe down here. So this is almost like a corner. Okay, 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 piecing it together. There's just like so okay <laughs> this is the vortex ranger 500 okay i am ecstatic for this okay the freaking rangefinder i'm gonna take a screenshot of that this is awesome 244.6 meters this with the ballistics update they've talked about the ballistics update uh rounds are gonna go farther they're gonna fly flatter uh, hopefully that makes zeroing a little bit better so that you can say 244, you know, I'm going to zero to 200, do like a half a mil lot down. Um, 
this is this is we've been ex excited about this for a really long time there's a battery indicator here it makes me wonder if they're going to add a battery or if that's just placeholder for when batteries become a thing they've talked about thermals and optics and range finders and requiring batteries so we'll see this has got this is the best surprise for me i've been winning range finder. i love woods i love sniping uh and they've been showing off a lot of long range engagements in this map so this could be really really exciting ks23 they had to throw that in there that looks like a new optic, a new dovetail mounted optic. Um, I love this internal uh, inside this industrial kind of like warehouse and where the lighthouse and the pumps and everything are. Optics look crispy. That's the Ultima shotgun. That looks like a new optic too, potentially. What gun was that on? ACOG. Oh, and then they start, they start. Oh my God, these grenades. <laughs> They're showing off a lot of long range stuff, a lot of long range combat, a lot of long range scopes, even in mid range combat, which has got me extremely excited. I love that they do like three different trailers. Revolver shoddy, double barrel. So, okay. This looks like a new grenade. Doesn't that look like a new grenade? That doesn't look like a VOG to me. Double barrel shotgun. That's super exciting. I mean, I don't know how practical of a weapon it's going to be, but it's going to be fun as junk. That looks like a new grenade. I mean, I could be, I could be crazy. That doesn't look like a VOG. Okay. That. All right. Where is that? That is definitely a new grenade. I think this is the one he throws in a minute where it like explodes on impact. This is definitely not an M67. It's obviously not a VOG or an RGD. I don't know a lot about explosives in real life. I don't know how this functions, but this is definitely, definitely a new grenade. What a great shot. Okay, glow of the barrel. So it says malfunction bolt jammed. He's trying to clear that and that glow of that barrel. That doesn't look like, uh, that doesn't look like a red suppressor. To me, that looks like a glow. I mean, it's not, it's hard to tell. That looks like the glow of a barrel of a suppressor was glowing um, for the overheating. Real crisp dots here. That that was probably the USP. Yeah. This is new, and this this uh, reticle is really crisp. I don't like these optics that block a lot of your screen, but this is a really crisp reticle. Dude, the green tracers flying overhead. The fact that they, I don't know if the green tracers picked up on thermals before, but they do now, which is super exciting. Look, okay, this grenade blows up on impact. Boom. <sighs> I don't know how I feel about that. That's actually kind of rough because then it's a... Uh, I don't know. I don't want to speculate too much because that's basically in, inescapable. But I guess you just need to learn to play around that. Don't put yourself in a room with no exits because those grenades go in. Uh, obviously, we want to. We're worried about like the economy and and they need to be not cheap if that's going to be the case. But that is insane. The train. We knew that was coming. So no new thermals. Was that a new? Was that a new dot? That looked like a new dot. Yeah, you could you can potentially cook the nades, uh, and, and maybe that was maybe they added the ability to cook nades, and that was just a new grenade that he cooked and timed it up perfectly. And then this shot is just like, where is this even in relation to? I guess oh, so this is just off to the right. So I think to the left here is that bridge that they showed earlier, and this they're probably teasing you know what's to come here. This whole section of the map, this island specifically, is going to be locked off. That's going to be my guess. But that sounds like a really, really lot of explorable area um, in in the map as it stands right now. Uh, and uh, and then this is just going to be the the new the new part is probably going to add function to the map, not a whole lot of stuff. Like it's probably going to be more focused on getting that scav boss, either killing him if you want, 
or getting to that tra tra uh, trader. They said they want four, four scav bosses on this map eventually. So I don't know. I mean, it, it looks big. It's going to be really hard. Maybe we'll get a, pod a podcast before the wipe. There's no confirmed date on this yet. Uh, but maybe we'll get a podcast before the wipe and they'll give us a little bit of a little bit of information about when this is or how big it's going to be. But this is extremely exciting. This is extremely excited. This is exactly what I want out of a map new because I love that all the maps you have to play them differently. And I like that this is new. These are new assets. It's not just like shoreline or reserve in a new location. These are new buildings, new like wilderness type log cabin buildings, new industrial style buildings new assets, new guns, new optics. It looks like they refined some of the optics, new grenades, um, range finder, lot of absolutely incredible stuff here. I am super excited. Uh, that's it. Well, I, over, over the next few days, I'm sure there'll be more stuff, more stuff that I missed. Check out all the other channels, but I wanted to do kind of like a reaction slash breakdown talking about this. Sorry it was so long, but I'm super excited for this and hopefully we get Lighthouse and Patch 12.12 .12 pretty soon. Thank you so much for stopping by to check out the video. If you like the video, think about dropping a like, commenting down below, or subscribing to the channel for more content like this. I stream Escape from Tarkov on Twitch. All my links will be down below. I'd love to have you stop by and say hey. And if you're looking for people to play Tarkov with, our Discord server is an awesome place to be. That link is down below as well. Thank you again for stopping by. I will definitely see y'all on the next one.